with a technology that we develop, we can find some low cost, simple solutions that can protect lives and reduce loss and pain that an earthquake causes. I'm Tasso Sextos. I'm a professor of earthquake engineering at the University of Bristol. I mean, I experienced a large earthquake in 1978. I was five years old. And then we lived in a tent for about two months or so with my family. About 50 people were killed in the city. Uh, it was quite a strong experience. And I think this makes you think that probably there are ways that you can help the, the society reduce this toll. And somebody told me, well, if you want to have many ways to be dealing with the community, you can become an engineer. We are at the National Facility for Soil Foundation Structure Interaction and this is the 6x4, 50 tons, 2G shaking table. There are many cool things that we can test in this shaking table. Conventional structures and infrastructures, building bridges, schools and hospitals, offshore wind turbines are components of that. But we can also test things that we don't know that exist at large right now. New materials nanomaterials, buildings with some smart fuses and some smart mechanism to absorb energy. Now we can uh, move to the control room and turn the whole thing on and do some proper shaking. This platform has a weight of 30 tons and it can move buildings and bridges or specimens up to another 50 tons with forces and accelerations up to 2G, so twice as high our weight. There is a hydraulic system below this table so that through the pressure of the oil, the actuators get the power to move the table and through the movement of the table, we're moving the buildings and the bridges and whatever we're testing on the table. This laboratory has three different elements, two shaking tables and a soil pit. Part of the structure, you test it on the pit, the other one on the table and everything in between, you model with computers. So this is called hybrid experimentation is very demanding, very novel, and can help test at very large scales, very complicated structures. This particular equipment that we've got helps us test things at large scale. The larger you test, the lower the uncertainty. The lower the uncertainty, the safer and cheaper all the design of the infrastructure worldwide. The most rewarding thing in earthquake engineering is that you can Use your mathematics, computer models, every tech you know, and then at the end of the day, affect the life of a single person by keeping this person safe.